Well, we got to thinking that y'all might be wondering why we picked Florida after hurricanes and tornadoes and all the negative things that have happened since we've been here. Tornadoes. Alarms have been going off all night and we're in the direct path right now, so they gave us 10 minutes to hide. Why did we pick Florida? I'm Tammy and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who lived and traveled three years full time in our RV. We then decided to buy an old fixer upper in Florida so that we have a winter home base to travel to and from. Till further notice, we are on a mission to explore, create, and we hope to inspire you to try new things too. I think Scott might gonna be ready to trade me in pretty quick because I'm months overdue for a haircut and I'm looking my age, let's just put it that way. And he is looking pretty stylish. He went and got himself a new do. So I better get my hair done pretty quick, but check out his hair. What do you guys think? You're looking pretty spiffy. Look at this, look at this guys, look at this. Short, nice, respectable, handsome man. No. You gonna trade me in? No. Why did you think so hard? <laughs> <laughs> Why was there a pause in your answer? <laughs> uh oh. So I've been getting a lot of comments and we realize that people are wondering why the heck we chose Florida as a winter home base. And you know, with tornadoes and hurricanes, it just all seems so negative. Hurricane Adelia is expected to impact Citrus County sometime Tuesday. A tornado warning has been issued for your area. And keep in mind, we hadn't originally planned on being here during the season of tornadoes and hurricanes, but life circumstances took us in a different direction. So we've spent an entire summer here now, which despite the storms was kind of cool because we got to see all the blooms and greenery that we have on the property, but we're gonna take you along to one of the reasons we decided on this area and wintering in Florida for our home base. And it's because we're surrounded by art, artists and art festivals. And today we're gonna go to one of the longest running Florida art festivals at Inverness. And we're gonna tell you a little bit more about why we decided to winter in Florida and build our home base here. Yeah, everything is a little bit backwards here in Florida because the winter time is when you get out and you do things. And so we're really looking forward to this winter. Would you hold me if I told you we can just there you go. Away. There you go. So come my darling. The other thing we love about being in Florida during the winter it's green all year round. And because it's green all winter long, the kids want to come see us because they like to get out of the snowy cold that they have in Colorado. Don't you worry, we're gonna find and it's warm, obviously, the given, it's warm. Most days it's warm. It does get a little cool this time of year, but it is warm. There are those weeks where down in southern Florida they have iguanas falling out of the trees, which means it's even colder up here up north. Just out here in Florida, going for a little nice walk. It's going to be in the 70s by Thursday. We got to wrap the pipes a few times a, a winter, and you know, it comes and goes. You know, we might have two or three days of freezing temperatures and then it bounces right back into the 70s. And with all of the hardware in our bodies and our health issues, it's kind of nice to be a little warmer in the winter. We also love that we've got all of the nature's coast to explore while we're here in the winter. And we've got manatee, kayaking, biking, swimming in all the springs and even occasional trips to the beach. And not only are there this festival, there's the Stone Crab Festival, there's the Manatee Festival, there's the Dragon Boat Festivals, there's all kinds of festivals during the winter. The other reason we picked 
Florida to winter. These guys. <laughs> <laughs> they ended up following us and moving here too. Yes, we did. So family is really we important. They followed them to Colorado first. They followed us to Colorado, then they followed us to Florida. So family is another reason. And they're gonna enjoy the art show with us today. Mom's joining in on the community art project that they have here. And when it's finished, they're gonna hang it in City Hall in Inverness, so that's pretty cool. So have forever have a little piece of her in this art piece. To hide under cover, show a different color. We both need this. Let's go Top notch art festival for sure. And the weather is perfect. Let's live in the moment. Don't dip our toes in. Make a great escape. So we're buying some art. Hi, I'm Robert Goodlett. And this is Red House Moon just purchased by this lovely couple. Thank Red you House very Moon. much. Red House Moon. It's also Farmer's Market today. Another plus fresh fruit. Farmer's Market year round. Living in a daydream Where the world can't find us Let the sparking guide us tonight Tonight No more stupid excuses Why we didn't do this Looking for a reason This is Perch Bird Sanctuary They're out of Lacanto Good thing that they do rescuing them yeah, The other thing that Inverness is great for is bicycling because there's trails that go all the way from here to Denellen and then down to Brooksville and you're next to the Chain of Lakes so you got all kinds of recreation here. Yep that's another reason we love wintering in Florida. So many bike trails around here and I can't wait to get back out on our bikes. We're at Cooter Pond. Cooter? Cooter. Cooter. Keep your cooters away from me. I think that's cooties, but you know, cooters, cooties. Somebody say hooters? No, <laughs> cooters. Not only did we come home with a ton of inspiration to start creating ourselves, we were initiating our house with a brand new original piece of art from a local artist. Pretty excited about picking up a nice piece of art that somebody else painted besides Tammy and I. And it goes along perfectly with our farmhouse motif. Very nice painting. And there we have it. A few of the reasons we've decided to winter in Florida, to have our home base in Florida. How do you tell it's fall in Florida? The colors start changing. And we're not talking about the leaves and the trees, we're talking about license plates. That took me a minute, but I get it, I get it. The colors of the license plates are changing, I get it. Folks are showing up from every state in the country to come down here and get warm. We'd love to know where you winter if you're an RVer or if you have a home base and hear your story too because I know there's lots of fabulous places in the United States. We spent our first winter on the Oregon coast and that was pretty cool too. But for now it's Florida for the winter. It's all shaved right there and you got a little flip over. I look like a grandpa don't I? You look okay. awesome. I think you need a twirl. Country gentleman. You need to get the twirled mustache going yeah. on. Get a tattoo. Handlebar. Tattoo? Yeah. Tattoo. I kind of like his new trendy cut. What do you guys think? He's going to probably trade me in pretty soon because I look like a swamp witch over here. So next time you see me, I'm going to get a new do too.